Yeah, we do inhalers for cats too. Hi guys, my name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're gonna go over feline or cat asthma. On this station, my goal is to level up your pet knowledge so you can be educated and confident when you go see your veterinarian. Alright, so I'm sure a lot of you have heard of asthma in kitty cats. Today I'm going to go over what the pet owner sees at home, how I as a veterinarian diagnose it, and what you can do long term to manage asthma in a cat. Asthma in the kitty cat usually presents with a handful of symptoms that the pet owner will see at home. Some pet owners notice things like increased respiration, like the cat's chest is going much quicker and more regular than normal. Some owners may notice panting, but the cats open their mouth and they're and cats really shouldn't pant. So increased respiration and panting can be symptoms of asthma. The way I want a pet owner to think of asthma of the cat is they're having a hard time getting air in and out because of all the inflammation. So the kitty cat's going to breathe harder, louder, they may pant. They're just really, really working hard to get that air in and out to get their body oxygenated. Now, what will I as the veterinarian see? So when that pet owner rolls in and they open that kennel up and I look in that kennel and that kitty cat's like <sighs> breathing really hard, I am already thinking, is this feline or cat asthma? It can be pretty scary when a kitty cat's breathing like that. So one thing to note is if a cat is struggling to breathe, a veterinarian may put them in an oxygen cage upon initial presentation. So if a cat's panting hard, if they're a little bit muddy or blue in the gums, all these are symptoms of struggling to oxygenate and these are an emergency. So the veterinarian will put the kitty cat in an oxygen kennel, which is really cool guys, and that, that, that pumps in pure oxygen. And that cat that was struggling to get pink is feeling awesome now. Once the kitty cat gets stable, no matter how the veterinarian decides to do it, our next step needs to be to confirm the asthma. Cats breathing hard and panting are all symptoms of respiratory difficulty. The big question is, is it asthma or is it something else? And unfortunately, I haven't conquered the ability to be Dr. Doolittle yet, so I'm relying heavily on tests. So the test that I really want to do is an x-ray. As always, lab work is super important and we will do that too. But an x-ray is really paramount for my diagnosis. I'm looking for two things, one or the other. I'm looking for, do we have a lot of air in the chest because of all the inflammation trapping the air in the lungs or the alveoli? Or two, do we have a lot of inflammation? Are the bronchi, those little, you know, those little tree branches of, of windpipes, are they really like just full of inflammation? And usually you can't see them very well, but the inflammation is coating and going around them from all the asthma, they could pop out really nicely on an x-ray. Of course, we want to be really confident that it's asthma because if it's not, our treatment's going to vary drastically. So a veterinarian may also refer out the x-ray to a radiologist. They may even do a pro BNP test to make sure the heart's okay. So we're trying to rule out other major issues like cardiovascular and focus on possible asthma. If the x-ray support it and the lab work supports it, we're going to treat this kitty for asthma. Now, how do we treat a cat for asthma? That's a good question. There are a handful of different options and different things a pet owner can do. I'm going to focus on two of them today. Asthma in cats can be treated with oral medications. Tablets and liquids can be very effective. The thing is, when you give a medication orally, it's going to affect the cat's whole entire body. Medications like steroids can be very helpful at controlling asthma. The veterinarian may even do a steroid injection to help get control of the asthma upon presentation. Steroids as either a tablet or an injectable that affect the entire body can be very helpful at controlling asthma. The other option would be an inhaler. Yeah, we do inhalers for cats too. 
Inhalers are a great option because the kitty cat can breathe the medication in. Medications for inhalers may include meds like steroids, and they may also include meds like bronchodilators to open up the airway so the cat can breathe better. The hard part is we gotta have the cat breathe it in and breathe it out and breathe it in. So you may get some kind of adapter piece to let the cat comfortably breathe in the inhaler medication. Inhalers may be given more regularly at first and then cut back given as needed or given as an emergency situation. The veterinarian will map out how they want to treat the asthma based on the symptoms, the severity, and how well the kitty either does or does not take oral medications, or how well the kitty will tolerate an inhaler. As much as I say it, it's about the pet owner and the veterinarian working as one to provide the best quality of care for the pet. So in this video, I covered what the pet owner sees at home, how the veterinarian goes about diagnosing it, and how we're gonna manage it at home. I hope this was super helpful. If you have any experience with kitty asthma regarding inhalers or tablets that your veterinarian has prescribed, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. As always, like and subscribe. It's super helpful for this channel.